Ready, go! Oh, good boy. You don't understand the concept of fetch, do you? Do you, buddy? No. Good morning, guys. It is Vlogtober, <laughs> day seven. Vlogtober, 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 not Vlogmas. And um, I have another day off, hooray. I'm spending it with this little monkey. Yes, I am. Yes, I am, monkey. Hello. Say hi. Good boy. Um, Emrys has gone to work already, so it's literally just me and this little monkey who is desperate to get on my lap right now. I was up really early this morning. I was up at about six and um, I feel a lot better. I'm still quite congested as you can probably hear, but I'm considerably better than I was yesterday. So I'm definitely on the mend, which is yay, really, really great. Um, I'm caffeinated. I've been catching up on some podcasts this morning and I've also been continuing swatching um, for my blaster cardigan, which I started doing uh, late last night. And I am having um, a couple of issues getting gauged, to be honest, at the moment. Um, I started off on three and three quarter millimeter needles, which is what's specified in the pattern. And my gauge was much too loose. There's definitely rolly fluff in my eye. But yeah, my gauge was really, really loose. Um, so my swatch was coming up much too big. Um, I've gone down one size. I'm now trying three and a half millimeters, but it's still coming up a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to undo the little swatch that I've done uh, so far and I'm going to try again on 3.25 and see how I get on with those. I just don't really want to go <laughs> too small because um, I'm using double knit yarn, obviously my lovely um, gorgeous orange pumpkin coloured yarn. And so I don't want to be on super tiny needles, but yeah, I'm going to try 3.25 and see how I get on. This is the little mini swatch um, on the 3.5 millimeters that I've tried doing this morning. And um, it looks nice. I'm liking the stitch definition and everything. On the 3.75, it was really quite baggy um, and loose, which I really didn't like with this yarn. So it's definitely getting there. But um, again, it is just a smidge too big. This is on the 3.25 millimeter needles and it is spot on perfect. So this is an exact four inch by two inch rectangle when it's kind of spread properly. And that's before blocking. So it just means that I will have a little bit of give in the size when it's finished. If you can hear snorting, that's rolly. Um, which is what I prefer because I am going to be knitting a size that has quite a lot of negativities. Yay, just had to go down two, min two needle sizes and so I'm going to be ready to cast on, yay! So I've just been um, writing out my show notes. Rolly was sitting on my lap for the majority of this. I'm covering up this because I've got a winner on here and I don't want the winner to be announced here um, before I actually launch the episode. But yeah, this is basically how I write up my show notes. I do like to do it by hand um, just because I find the process of actually writing stuff out really, really useful and it gets it into my brain, gets me into all of the right frame of mind. But yeah, this is what it's like being inside my brain. So I've decided what I'm gonna do in terms of filming today. I'm gonna to have a bit of lunch and then I'm gonna film the majority of this podcast um, now. And then I'm going to, um, instead of a general waffle, I'm gonna finish with 
the knitting and stitching show bit of a kind of um what i was doing maybe a little bit of a haul if i buy anything although i've bought way too much um since my birthday anyway um so it will basically divide that up for me and i'll do the editing of this episode later today So I'm just setting up to podcast and look at all of this. I have so much stuff to talk about, it's insane. Yeah, I better crack on because this is gonna take forever. <sighs> all done. All done, sitting in my in my spot where I do my filming and all finished. It was a little bit um, touch and go because my battery gave out halfway through, which is a bit annoying. So I had to kind of stop, recharge the battery um, and then start again. But that was fine. Listen to um, Sweet Georgia and um, her podcast has restarted, her audio podcast. So I listened to a bit of that and literally just sat in this chair and stroked my yarn a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite funny, but um, the aftermath is quite horrendous. There is stuff everywhere. Oh, it's really bad. I really, really need to do some tidying up. So I'm going to go and do that now. And then I need to crack on with the editing of the podcast. while I was tidying up, I found Emerson's birthday card, which I completely forgot to give to him. So I'll be giving that to him tonight. And that's why tidying up is a good thing. <laughs> Colour is 100% the fault of Eric Hockenstick's first wine podcast, because when he actually came to London way back when, when we met for the first time, he was telling me about a sweater that he was making in this colour. We looked at it together. And the sweet boy is keeping me company while I end it. Yeah. Oh, so nice. Oh. Sleepy puppy. Still editing. And it's dark outside now. This is my birthday card from my wife. <laughs> I really like it. Look it, it's a knitting pug. And it just makes me think we need the sausage dog. That's what we need. <laughs> Rolly, do you think we need the sausage dog? Never. He's hiding, I think that means no. <laughs> and so. it's nice to get it a little bit after my birthday because it spreads out the birthday love. <laughs> Aww. Well, he's like, I don't want a brother What's or a sister. What's different between these two pugs? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>